So what's up all my jigsaw puzzle enthusiasts? Our last puzzle was the puzzle 15, right? The most unique one done by, uh, made by Una, uh, Una Dragon, the, the planet Earth. And I said that I would give you an update once I got the mounting kit in to mount the puzzle, right? Well, I just got in the kit. It was basically lost in the mail. For about three weeks. It started out uh, DHL, swapped over to USPS, I think around Memphis, the container that it was supposed to move from Memphis to Jackson. Somehow, apparently, it did not get put in that container and somehow wound up in another container. When the update stuff was showing it being in Jackson, but never going anywhere else. That was like that for like two weeks. And then I finally started an investigation with USPS and come to find that obviously it was not put in that container. Everything else that was in that container had been shipped and delivered to their destinations except for my, um, except for my shipment. Then like the very next day, all of a sudden it popped up in, Arizona, uh, in uh, Arkansas. And that was like last Friday. Today is Thursday, all right? So I just finally received it into the, today into the mail. So it, it has been a long way and I apologize that um, I haven't gotten around to this, but uh, that, that is why. So let me show you uh, what this kit is all about. Okay, so yes, the puzzle's still here, still together. Uh, <laughs> No problems there. This is the mounting kit, all right, that was delivered um, today from Unidragon, okay? This mount uh, fits um, sizes small, medium, and king size, which this is a king size puzzle, so it should fit fine. So it comes in this box like this, all right, with directions on the back. You do have a code to go to a video instruction. Um, I have already looked at that and watched it. It pretty much is basically exactly what you see here in the picture step by steps. So it opens up pretty much and you have and then it, there again a, a, a some more detailed instructions step by step to go through. This right here is a mounting sticky like stuff. So this is what they expect for you to stick to the back of it, to actually mount it on the wall. I have to be honest, I'm a little questionable about it at the moment, but we're, we'll see how it works uh, once we're done here. This is some tape that they have sent to assist in moving the puzzle onto the cardboard that was given. So that's that. This. I am assuming is the sticky backing so they give you quite a few sheets uh, quite a few sheets of that so that um, and, and even the tape has quite a few pieces of tape so this is meant to be used on many, multiple puzzles um, if needed so that that is interesting especially for the price this kit is like twenty dollars so it, it is good to know that they did give you something that can be used on more than just one puzzle. Here is the cardboard that is used to move the puzzle onto so that you can then flip the puzzle. The idea is for the puzzle to go on one side, close it, and then flip the puzzle over so that you can then... We're going to set that there. I think that would be okay. So that you can then use the backing on the back of the puzzle to secure it. Okay, so what we have, all right, what we, we have our tape, uh, our cardboard, all right. So the idea is to take some pieces of tape, take a couple pieces of tape, and tape it to the edge of the cardboard, like so. I think in the instructions they are using approximately three pieces. 
So one to the center, one to the outside, similar to that. And then taping the edge of the board to the edge of your table. Then what you would do from there is take your puzzle, sliding it from the table to your cardboard piece. Transferring it over like so. And then once it's on there, we'll close it up and detach. Then we're going to take our puzzle. After we have it like this, we flip it over so that then the puzzle is upside down. For me, this wooden puzzle, there are parts of it. You know, if you don't have it like completely together, then there will be gaps in the picture. So that's one issue that I have with this. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna make sure that I have the puzzle secured or, or seamed together, the pieces seamed together as much as I can before attempting to adhere the adhesive backing. Now the one other concern I have, or for the couple of round pieces, like this one of, of what I was assuming was Jupiter and Earth actually being placed in the correct placement, because now that it is turned over upside down, I can't see the image. But hopefully I can figure out a way to adjust it, because I did have it in its correct spot. But even a little bit off could cause the image to just be off, which is for me personally uh, a problem, but we'll, we'll see. All right, so now that I've pretty much got the puzzle consolidated in as much as I can so that to, to remove gaps, um, now we are to take this, they tell you to iron out or you know basically make sure that your your piece that you are using is as flat as possible remove the white backing starting to the center and going out on the puzzle with the clear adhesive they said to use any type of plastic card to spread it out across your, the puzzle how about we get that one of those okay so what i've decided to use is my plastic um, spreader for the actual glue that I normally use and I'm going to use this to spread it across the puzzle. So let's get to it. Okay so as you saw I decided that I wanted to do half at a time because of the split um, and the indention that it is put that split put in this and this being a large puzzle and needing to use the entire piece I decided to do half and half so I did one half spreading out equally um, trying to make sure that the puzzle did stay as uniform as I could keep it um, and then turn around trying to actually in press on this indention as well as I could um, before moving across the other side um, and then making sure that I pressed as evenly and spread out the piece of backing evenly across the entire puzzle so now we will get a utility knife or some type of sharp knife that you may have and I will be trimming this piece as close to the edge as I can all the way around making sure that I get um, the pieces the edge pieces as much of them as possible adhere to the backing left adhere to the backing so let's do that okay so I have Cut my line around as close to the edge as possible, um, putting pretty significant pressure on it uh, 
it did say that do not worry about cutting into the pieces um, the wood pieces are very durable so it it would take a quite a bit of force to actually do any damage to them we've cut along the edge now we'll try to peel the excess off okay so now the excess has been peeled off um, so let's flip this over and see just how well this works okay so luckily from look you know looking at the image my pieces that could have rotated the earth piece is pretty much in its spot so is the Jupiter the only one that seems to have shifted a little bit is this one here so let me try to see if I can make an adjustment to this one right here okay so that was actually fairly easy I used the knife that I used to cut the edge and just uh, peeled up each piece individually and then set my marker piece which for this image was actually the center piece for this circle I'm lining up my edge here for the side of the earth and then the edge for this for the moon um, so that I then have the image in its correct placement so that was easy enough I'm actually pretty pretty um, accepting of this at, 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 at this stage it, it was not quite as difficult as I thought so uh, it holds the it is very flexible so that that is a little bit concerning but I would think the smaller the puzzle um, the less significant that would be so that's I would say maybe beneficial if you are doing a smaller puzzle of one of these the smaller the medium um, the king size puzzle versions obviously will uh, be a little bit probably a little bit more flexible and maybe less stable or sturdy so that's the reason why for me personally in this one I do con am considering my next steps to secure this front side as well and make just make for one to make it more durable and two to also give protection for this area for this side Okay, so as you've seen, I did a surface, a thin layer of the puzzle glue that I typically use, uh, guard glue, um, to put a thin layer of the glue uh, for protection and to also to help secure the puzzle and make it a little bit more stable and mostly to protect the actual image. The image is a paper image on the wooden pieces so therefore it can peel and can be damaged so that's the reason why I decided to take this extra step to protect the image itself from any type of damage that it could potentially come across it will allow this to dry and then finish our final steps in mounting all right so this is the next day the glue guard has completely dried of course um so now as you can see it is very much more sturdy all right so now all that's left to do is cut the um mounting stick apply it to the back where the adhesive strip was um, and this is what they sent, is supposed to use to ad adhere to whatever location that uh, you want to stick the puzzle to. This is the one thing that I actually feel that they shorthanded a little bit because it appears that it is set for three mounts. So three puzzles, especially at the king size, uh, only three puzzles. 
Um, on the medium and small, you could potentially maybe get four or even five mounts out of, especially if it's a small. It's at least set for three mounts. So it gives you enough adhere, uh, adhesive strips for three king size mounts. Also enough tape for the board, you know, to slide and flip the puzzle um, for three at least. But this right here is supposed to last over three mounts. I just don't see that. If it is three mounts for a king size, it appears that they suggest three adhere points. Which would mean that this should be split into nine for it to be three sets. And I don't, I don't think you, do you re see how, I mean, it's not, it's barely as big, as big as my thumb, the end of my thumb. It's not very big to try to get nine out of that. I, I just don't see that. So I feel like this should have been, there should have at least been three of these in the package. Now, unless my package somehow got shorted, um, Unidragon, if anybody sees this, uh, might want to add some more of this in your mounting kit. So, anyways, that's just a little, little thing. So, what we'll do is we'll flip it over. So, it has a white backing we can peel off and then a clear top as well. Okay, so I have some little scissors here that I'm going to use to cut this. Like so. And then you're supposed to take that piece, roll it into a ball. Like so. And then place uniformly across the back of the puzzle to the points that you would expect the best adhering to whatever wall you are going to mount it to. I'm going to do four mounting spots so I'm thinking about, about right there here 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 and I've decided to do a fifth one in the center and then you mount it to the wall okay so the puzzle has been mounted to the wall um it took me a second to decide on where i really wanted to put it um but i finally decided on a spot so let me show you all right so here we are this is right beside my uh door my front door going out uh so that is where I've decided to place the puzzle. First thing that I did was I actually washed the wall um, so that I made sure that there wasn't any dirt or, debris, you know, anything dust or something like that because it is adhering to the wall by those sticky things. I must admit they do stick really well. Hopefully, I, I guess we will see over what I'm worried about is long term over time, how long it will stick or if it will eventually just give out. But for now, it is pretty sturdy. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here touching it. It doesn't, it doesn't move. Of course, like I said, I did five, uh, five points, right? Like right here, 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 and in the center. Um, so it's, it, it has plenty. I used the entire uh, adhe adhesive little sticker um, thing. On just this one puzzle I assume they plan on it being used over three um, different puzzles but for me it just wasn't enough for my comfort to stick to the wall especially like I'm thinking long term yes there it is puzzle 15 the most unique puzzle yet 500 piece unidragon the planet earth it is complete what do y'all think? All right, so yes, uh, there it is behind me. All right, so yeah, um, I am uh, very, very, very excited uh, that to finish this up. 
and I'm just happy uh, about how it turned out. Um, thinking on the actual uh, mounting kit itself, just to give final thoughts on it, uh, the uh, the adhere strip uh, does work very well. It it, it is a way to um, secure the puzzle quickly and easily. Okay, is it, it it is very quick and easy to use and just to you know to put on the back of it. Um, it might personally, I feel that it would be better on a smaller puzzle. Um, I think the king size puzzles are probably pushing the that type of of securing a little bit to the limit so that, that's the reason why I did use the puzzle guard glue on the front side to just give it that extra stability um and after doing that uh, I, I do believe that if I had used just that it would have been fine um putting it on the back side of the puzzle and then also and then on the front side or or vice versa didn't it wouldn't matter but the only thing i would think that i wouldn't you would have to do because it is a wooden puzzle and with in the pieces do not just uh secure like a normal puzzle they they are loose and they give and they stretch um they're they're flexible within the puzzle when you did use the puzzle guard if you were only using the puzzle guard you would probably want to Put the the you know put a layer of the guard on and then after putting the layer all the way completely on it, then compress the puzzle in you know towards the center like I did to take out all of the uh, lines and and you know separations in the puzzle. Unless the separation. Um, in the puzzle is what you're going for. I could see where some people might would actually like that, like like the the look of the pieces separated with the image, you know, across it. If if that's your thing, then you know, I guess you could actually stretch it afterwards instead of compressing it down. Um, but if you want the image to be clean without any lines, that's the way I would suggest your first layer to be put on, compress it down before, you know, it dries, um, and then just allow it to dry like that, uh, and then you should have no problem um, flipping it over and doing the back side. But the mounting kit with the adhere, uh, adhesive strips is an easier way, obviously, of doing it. It just, for me, it especially for a king size puzzle like this one the bigger puzzle it wasn't stable enough for my personal preference like i said a smaller one it probably would have been fine but anyway that's just my final thoughts it's not bad i think for the price um for unit dragon at, at around 20 bucks i think it's 19.99 something like that for the mounting kit um it being Actually, for three different puzzles, you know, for, that's the set idea is for it to be for three sets. Um, I think that's probably a pretty good price. I don't, I don't, it, it, I don't see that as being crazy or anything. So, except for that adhesive stuff that actually mounts it, the mounting stuff that for the wall, Unidragon, you could do a little more on that. That 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 wasn't enough. Uh, so that's the only thing. I, only only major. Negative critique I have on the mounting kit puzzle 15 is completed and mounted and now it's On to what's next, right? We have uh, I actually do have a puzzle that will be number 16 Other than that, I don't really have anything planned from there um, But we'll see how things go. Like I said before I plan to uh, move all this content to YouTube um, so that you know it will be for wider audience and uh, allow easier uh, connection to being able to, you know, watch all of the videos and all the puzzles, um, easier to find and all in one space. So yeah, that's 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 one major thing that's coming coming very soon. But other than that, I don't really have any puzzles planned outside of a sixteenth one. Um, but we will continue. There will be more. 
Um, I just have to decide on what I want to do and, and where I go with the, the, you know, continue on. How far will I go? I don't really know. Um, I'm thinking at least 20. That's, I don't think that's, that's uh, crazy. I don't know that I will really go past that. Um, to, I, I really don't see, especially going any more than 25. But, hey, um... Who knows? We, we, we could keep this going. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I will certainly run out of space, but uh, to mount them, especially if they're of any significant size. But hey, this is fun. I enjoy doing it though. I hope you enjoy watching and, and, and seeing the creativity and the, the time um, and, and the production of it, you know, uh, how our creation of it. Um, and all that. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and have fun uh, watching it and learning from it. Um, hopefully, maybe even deciding to engage in the this this yourself um, and, and and finding uh, fun in it for yourself. So, anyways, thank you and until next time.